Happy spring, everybody. The trees are blooming. There's even uh, some purple flowers over there, kind of pinky purple flowers. We're not here to talk about flowers or you'd be in trouble because I don't know what any of them are. But what I do know is how to proceed on the day after a gig. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. Had a gig last night, a lot of fun. Played the Heidelberg with some good friends. Celebrated the Crimson Eyed Orchestra's amazing new release. And I got home at, you know, 2 a.m. or so. A little jacked. Then it takes till 3 a.m. to get to sleep. And then, if you're lucky like me, your five-year-old will come running into your room about 6.20 and leap onto your bed and announce that he will be sleeping with you when you know that he won't be sleeping at all. Now, here are the important steps for full recovery from staying up late when you're 52 years old and you're in a rock band. You get up and you drive immediately to the saltiest, healthiest food that you can imagine. In my case, I went to Pho House, <laughs> which we've talked about before, uh, P-H-O, for those of you not indoctrinated. And those healthy, tasty noodle soups are incredibly, for me, they're the perfect thing. A lot of healing properties. Most importantly, a lot of sodium and a lot of water, right? So those two things are going to help your body recover the next morning. Uh, on top of that, lots of tasty noodles in there, and you got some lime if you squeeze it in, and a bunch of sprouts, uh, jalapenos, which is, this is like a witch doctor put together the perfect uh, morning after a rock show meal. Like, it just flows through your system. Because you eat a lot of after a late night rock show, you, you'll you ingest some weird stuff. Like I had something called a Firebird sandwich. Or maybe it was a Thunderbird. I think it was a Thunderbird sandwich. Firebird would be possibly different, but it doesn't sound good for your digestion. Thunderbird doesn't also sound good for your digestion. Thunder feels like it's something that you impart on your on people around you. And fire feels like something in you that hurts. So, a little too much information possibly. Whoa. Yeah. Pro tip right there. If you're ever uh, stopped and a truck needs a turn, why not stop way back like I did so the truck has a nice angle? The Thunderbird sandwich, the key, they were describing it. The woman was describing it to me and she's like, you know, it's got some kind of fowl, like a turkey perhaps I don't know and she's a little ham on it and this and that and then she said pretzel bun and when you're at a rock show and you've already played and you're all blah, whatever's happening to you and somebody says pretzel bun you just go yes please I'll have whatever is on that pretzel bun I ordered it and when it showed up I was initially disappointed because the whole basket of food looked like it was just layered in grease which it probably was uh and there was no salt on the pretzel buns. It just looked like kind of wet pretzel bun. That said, once I put it in my mouth, I was as pleased as punch with the pretzel bun. The rest of it was okay. And there was probably cheese in there. Uh, but the pretzel bun was rather delicious. And it actually wasn't as greasy as it looked. It may have just been uh, the black light from the rock show made the food kind of glisten in a way that isn't necessarily appealing. I made the mistake. The last thing I ate on my way home was, and I'm embarrassed to admit this, but this, you know, it's an honest show, but I ate a Hostess uh, 
apple pie out of a box. This is worth talking about for a few reasons. First of all, just don't do it if you can. But secondly, uh, they're not as pleasing to me as they used to be. And it turns out, and many of you know this, if you're a hostess apple pie aficionado, you probably know that there are like different regions where they're made. There was like a a fluffy pie uh, that had more air in it, a thinner crust that was less kind of crumbly bready, and then a nice glistening layer of sugar. That was my Chicago version as I was growing up, and I really enjoyed that. And then there were other parts of the country which had kind of this crumbly, sugar in, su- sugar saturated version of the Hostess apple pie. It was rich and too sugary, and it was the crust was thick, without being like cr- a crust. It was more like a. I knew it was going to be the bready, saturated, shitty version, and I still bought it and ate it. I was not happy, and I'm still paying for it today. Not just in my body, but my steering wheel is. It's kind of sugary. That somehow the the crappy apple shit that was inside of it got all over my hands, and like I don't know, I couldn't see what was happening to my clothes. And then and then I was like, oh my god, both hands got sticky. And then I was touching the steering wheel. And this is part of a recovering from a rock show that that nobody really wants to admit happens. I forgot before all of that. If you're like me, the coffee was essential. The coffee got me to the pho house, just for the record. I kind of assume it went without saying, so it probably did go without saying, but... um, So anyways, coffee, then the pho house, and then if you can get outdoors, especially if it's the kind of your first it's not first it's like we're a good month and a half into spring but if it's your first real spring feeling day get out and feel some of that so that's vitamin d from the sun vitamin a meaning awesome from the blossoming trees and foliage and then you got air and and whatever now i know what you're thinking and you're right I'm in the car. This is obviously not ideal. At some point, I will step out of the car, and then I'll be even more grounded and happy. I think we were in the Augusta Township uh, County seat. There's the post office. It is just rocking today. There are, like, I'm not kidding, nine cars there. After you've had some good uh, nourishment with a lot of liquids and gotten some vitamin D from the sun and some vitamin A awesome from the the foliage and stuff then what you're going to want to do is think awesome thoughts and this car is (laughs) oh my god I don't know if anybody saw that that car just like rolled through the stop that car had no interest in playing ball by the rules Anyways, think awesome thoughts is your next task because if you played a rock show, you were, your mind was not in your worries because it's impossible to rock and worry at the same time. Occasionally, I will worry about the rock, but that's still different than worrying about the rest of your life. So in general, if you rocked, you probably didn't worry, and then you might have had an adrenaline shot, and then you got tired... And then you woke up and needed to get your body healed. So all that takes you to another state. So you've you've been worry-free for, you know, maybe 18 hours. You piggyback that with positive thinking. And you make crazy, awesome plans. It's not quite a manic state because obviously a true manic state, we discussed that another time, but that... That might not be good because you might end up actually driving Alabama or something, you know, trying to start build a rocket. At some point, after you've had your positive thinking, 
you're going to have what's called a come down. Uh, it's just a natural reaction to your body digesting the food and the coffee. What I like to do is plan ahead. So my plan is I'm going to be at the studio. I'm going to unload all my gear. And that will actually counter uh, the, the full effects of a come down because guess what happens when you unload your gear you've accomplished something so your brain is then like whoa sweet dude that was on my list of stuff I had to do and now my van is clean and look at this guy's turning right from as far left as humanly possible strike fucking six bonehead taking a drive with the jimmer so that's about it um we're just around the corner from the studio where I may try and record some original music. And if I do record some original music, you're going to hear it right now. But if I didn't record any original music, then you're just hearing me still talking. I do like recording music for all of my... vlogs now the more creative outlets you have in this current world environment the better creativity is not valued monetarily in our culture in any way the funding for the arts and just basically any sort of structure for creative people is non-existent and whatever however you feel about that like well screw you you made the choice is fine. I'm just telling you that's how it is. So if you like creative stuff, you know, just remember a couple things. One is people are basically fearless and awesome for giving it to you because there's nobody helping them out. And uh, two, if you've got a ounce of awesome in your heart, help those people out because without them, there wouldn't be a lot of color in your life. Thanks a lot, you guys. I'm going to load out. <laughs>